Now, one of the biggest trends you, you see uh, during economic downturn is people park their money in safe assets like gold. But another one is very interesting is cryptocurrency. Henry Yakal Rundi, the innovator behind the innovative talk. entrepreneur from Rwanda. Now, for those who don't know what crypto is, please check it out. You know, there's better definition out there, but uh, it's just digital currency built on a blockchain technology, uh, which is decentralized, basically. Very interesting tech um, that a lot of central bank fear, actually, because uh, in the long run, I think in the next 10 to 15 years, uh, things going to get better. But the very interesting thing I see on crypto right now is how crypto now getting into uh, crypto debt. Uh, you can raise capital on crypto now for businesses. And those are applications that are very, very interesting uh, to see uh, popping up um, all over because that's a, that's a new layer, I think, uh, to raising capital. And um, I've been following crypto now for the last, what, uh, five years, I think. But I first heard about it uh, a decade ago, and I didn't take it seriously. I didn't think it was gonna <laughs> it was gonna survive, because uh, to me it didn't make any sense. Of course, I didn't see the vision like uh, the crypto crypto guys. But it's amazing how it's been growing now. It's amazing how it's been uh, moving forward. Uh, there's different type of crypto. Um, there is now countries getting into cryptocurrency, like Russia, China, trying to build their own crypto uh, for different reasons. Uh, but, you know, the, the bottom line is a lot of those companies are looking at ways to take away the domination of the dollar. Um, and that's very interesting. But what really, really made me pay attention now is and Libra. Uh, Libra by Facebook. Um and, and the different approach to, to, to build crypto, you know, uh, based on, 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 on uh, existing currency. And it's very interesting. Now, on the short term, it seems like they failed, but no, I, I totally believe that Libra is definitely going to keep on going. And they're going to grow steady, slowly but steady. Um, and, and it's just a matter of... of and one thing about currency, I always... I, I know for a fact, you see it all the time, is the value is, is the people that make the value. That paper we carry on our pocket, that money that you carry in your pocket, you, we, individuals, put value to that money. The day we start putting value to that money, that money's gone. That money's worthless, you know. So the people give value to money. Not government. Of course, government guarantees help. Um, but... You've seen currency fail all the time. Uh, you know, you see currency just being worthless. And and we look at the dollar today. We value the dollar. The dollar is used for everything. You cannot trade or buy goods from another country without the dollar. Yet, the dollar is, is, is not... It used to be, you know, guaranteed based on gold. Now it's just... You know, of course, it's guaranteed by the federal government, but they're printing money. If you look at the, the, the value of the dollar today, if, if it wasn't uh, from the dollar from the United States, it would be worthless also. The amount of money they print every time there's a crisis is just crazy. But because the demand of the dollar is so high across the world and people put so much value to the dollar, then the dollar will stay strong. It's just a fact. You know, supply and demand. And same thing with any currency. But I think crypto has a chance, uh, especially for Africa, it has a chance a chance to, uh, we can create a one currency through crypto. I don't think there'll be any monetary uh, legal system um, uh, for Africa, man. I don't think we'll, we'll, we'll be able, we've been talking about it for decades. I, I don't think that's going to be, a possibility anytime soon at least not in my lifetime uh, for people to sit down I, mean, I know we talk about echo east africa has been talking about one currency since i've been back and that hasn't uh, materialized but 
crypto has a chance to do that, man. You can you can trade in second, and digital currency has power. We've seen now mobile money. I think crypto is the next layer. Uh, the challenge today, cryptocurrency in Africa is very fragmented. Uh, I don't know why, but governments are not really seeing the potential and the vision. I think this is an opportunity for them to, for the central bank to get into uh, this um, bandwagon and 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 formalize what crypto can be uh, to minimize all this. Uh, some startups, some individuals trying to take advantage of, of people. Because, you know, when anytime you bring something new, there's also also that negative influence of, of um, you know, fake crypto, uh, uh, the, the, the whole, because it, it's, 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 it's not really regulated right now. In some countries, in most countries in Africa, it's illegal. But I think it's an opportunity for African countries um, to really take a good look at and see the potential it can bring on the long run. But going back to Libra, Libra has really put a lot of emphasis and focus on, on crypto. And to be honest, I truly believe central banks are scared. They're scared that, you know, because they're the only one right now that has the control of making money. Uh, but they're scared of losing that control because that's a powerful, powerful um, tool when you're able to print and, and create money um and if you lose that but i think decentralized network allow us also to control this printing of money every time the economy is uh, you know jacked up or is not working well but i wanted to refocus on on, on the potential of crypto for startups i think crypto will be another layer um for raising capital for getting debts uh, there's going to be a lot of application around it. And just, I'm going to end with this. You know, you can't stop innovation. You just can't. You either get on board with innovation or you, you just lose out. And a lot of people have become wealthy because of cryptocurrency already, you know. And, and when, when people are making fun of it. Now, the next 10 to 15 years, you're going to see a lot of big players, Visa and all those guys getting into the game. Because, you know, when there's money, there's big players coming in. The question is, where are you going to play, uh, you know, in this history? Uh, uh, where, which side of the history are you going to be at? You know, but I think there's huge opportunity to start learning, to start seeing. Uh, what we're looking at, you know, what, what I'm looking at is... What tools can be used for startups to, to, to raise capital um, through crypto? Because that's going to be very, very interesting. Also, tool uh, where you can transfer crypto without fees and all those things. So I, I, I'm really optimistic about the future of crypto. I think it's going to be a, a game changer. Now, the question is, how is going to the final product, how it's going to look like? That's going to be very interesting to see. Take care. Till next time. Peace.